in Connecticut here with uh, WWE Hall of Famer and advisor and executive board member for Shoot Pro Wrestling, the one and only uh, Jerry Briscoe. Uh, Jerry, how you doing, man? I'm doing good, man. I'm finally getting back in, uh, getting my property back in shape from these two hurricanes that went sideswipe me going up the coach here of, uh, of uh, West Florida here. But we're okay, man. We're real blessed. We didn't have any structural damage of a home or anything like that. Like uh, the unfortunate people did a little bit closer to the coach and down South Tampa. But we had a lot, oh, yeah. a lot of a lot of property damage. So. I feel blessed for that. I feel blessed. I had a lot of good friends that stepped forward and came out and brought their chainsaws and stuff like that and kind of helped, helped the old man out. So everything's good. Yeah, man. I'm down here in the Sunshine State, too, and uh, uh, my neighbor uh, back over here is is running our chainsaw as we speak. I can hear it in the background. So, yeah, man. But uh, what we want to talk about is uh, Shoot Pro Wrestling the Higgins, Riggins versus Auk uh, show that we did out in North Dakota. And just let the fans know, man, this has uh, been condensed into a 30-minute television show that we're going to be airing out in uh, Las Vegas. And it's also going to be available on different combat sports platforms like the Hannibal TV. And on um, this event, this match rather took place at an event at the Sky Dancer Casino in North Dakota. Um, and we have to give a special shout out, Jerry, to our president of Shoot Pro, UFC Hall of Famer Pat Militich, who put this together for us um, on the uh, Define the Fight card out there, which was an MMA card. And uh, it was a catch rules, Shoot Pro, pin and submission cage match, best of three between undefeated North Dakota MMA fighter Blade Auk and a young man that I recruited for my alma mater, uh, Norwalk Wrestling, also a two-time All-American uh, by the name of Brandon Riggins. Man, it was it was spectacular, um, Jerry, as, as you know, and we're really excited uh, to get uh, the fans um, to watch this product. This is awesome. Man, it's just one of yeah. Well, 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 I heard, man. I mean, I, I, you know, I, I, I wasn't there obviously, and I, I had no access. But I have, I've have access to social media, and when you get social media talking about your product, you know, you're doing the right thing and talking about it in a positive way and and a, and a wishful way that it grows and all that stuff. So, uh, Pat, Pat is a, is a genius when it comes to putting cards together up there and then promoting pro, promoting the event there. He did a tremendous job. You know, you're you're there with the casino help and all that stuff, which always helps and everything. So, uh, I will, first of all, let's congratulate you, Pro Wrestling, Pat Militech, and everybody involved in all did all that hard work up there. I, I think it's wonderful, and I think I think everybody sees a tremendous amount of growth in it. As soon as they get a little educated uh, at, in in the, in the event there, that's all it's going to take. Yeah, and that's really what we did with this with this thirty minute TV show was to educate the fans. We had a great pre show that Jake Shannon and I did with Pat uh, Militich, and um, great uh, behind the scenes of these guys training and giving people a little history lesson on uh, what shoot pro wrestling is. And it's man, it's it's, it's really exciting, and we got some great momentum going here. Uh, Jerry, and we really want to want to thank you uh, for being an advisor with us for uh, this promotion, man. We're we're really excited about where we're headed here with this TV show in uh, Las Vegas coming up. Well, cool, uh, cool. I mean, it's it, you're in Vegas, Vegas. You're in the uh, show capital of the world. What a better place to uh, display your product, you know, and then you know. That's the home of MMA. You get, you get, you never know. You get somebody's attention, and man, this thing could to sprout up, you know, like a beanstalk and be tremendous. Yeah, yeah, we're we're actually planning a party that we're, we want to have you at in Vegas um, after the Super Bowl because we're going to be airing on TV out there uh, after the Super Bowl, 
And we're going to have a party that UFC Hall of Famer, our president, Shoot Pro Pat Militich, is going to host. And we've even got some of the current UFC uh, competitors coming out um, to check out awesome. this party. Yeah, so it's going to be really cool. And it'll be like a, like a viewing party for our television show. So, man, uh, Jerry, I want to thank you. And, and uh, I've really enjoyed uh, being a guest on your show with uh, JBL. A great show. Uh, Jake and I were on there last year, and I just saw you had Jake Hager on. What what a great what a great show that was. Uh, no known as Jack Swagger. Yeah, Jake. Jay, I went. Matter of fact, I was with Jake last night, and uh, uh, you know, there, there's Jake. Jake is you know he's going through some changes in his life. You know, he's getting up there. It's time to step out of the ring. Time. Jake's an educated guy, and he loves wrestling. So. He asked me uh, to hook him up with the local high school wrestling coach a place where I was a volunteer for like 13 years, and he lives right behind. Of course, Jake has two two children, 13 and 9 years old, that you know that's interested in, in, in the wrestling. So, so I, I I I arranged a meeting last night with Jake. So I I wouldn't be surprised if if Jake Hager starts showing up on the amateur wrestling scene here in Hillsborough County and statewide, you know, as, as a as a volunteer coach in the beginning and eventually uh, taking over a program that uh, had state champions and, and been in the top five in, in the state and several state tournaments. So it's a great opportunity for Jake and an even bigger opportunity for the school system and for the young men and women that are involved in, in, in that cycle. You've been to our school. That's the school guy that you came to with the Gerald Briscoe uh, Challenge Tournament. So, uh, Sickles High so, School, right? Sickles? Sickles, Sickles High School, they, 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 uh, the, the, I think the, the 10th or the 11th uh, Gerald Briscoe Challenge is coming up in January. I think it's January 20th again, something like that, late January at Sickles High School in, in Central Park, Florida, right outside of Tampa. Another year there, it's a wonderful tournament. We had a packed house, as you remember, last year. and it was Just a tremendous turnout. The kids all enjoyed it. And, WWE, of course, supplies the, the out, out, outstanding wrestler. Right? So this year, we kind of changed the format because I get tired of politics and, and, and even in high school wrestling, when you know you you do an outstanding wrestling a wrestler and it, coaches are voting for it, all the politics is going on. So we, how can we change it? Because these belts are such an important part of that tournament where we still use the belt. So we decided to take the politics a hundred percent out. And just give these championship belts to the man, uh, the man and, and a boy and girl that have the most falls in the least amount of time. That way, it's entirely up to the wrestler. So we're still giving out the championship uh, uh, WWE championship belts. We're just giving them out uh, in a different manner there. So you got to earn them. You get no politics involved this year. Yeah, that was awesome, man. I I really enjoyed uh, being out there for uh, the Jerry Briscoe Challenge. At Sickles High with you last year, and I'll be back out there again yeah. this plus, year. Plus, you picked up a sweet sweatshirt that gets you recognized in every grocery store you go into in Florida, right? That's right. That's right. <laughs> when I wear, I wear that, I wear that Jerry Briscoe Challenge shirt around here in in my, my area of Florida, and I've had a number of, of folks that have come up to me, and it's a conversation starter. They start, oh. they start talking about you and your brother, and. uh I've even ran into some folks from the amateur wrestling community who see it. And we talk about uh, the history of amateur wrestling here in the state of Florida and how it was influenced by you and your brother and Bob Roop and uh, Eddie Graham. Uh, man, it's, uh, that's, it's, what, that's, that's, what, that's what we're really proud of, Matt. I mean, you know, Eddie Graham was such an influence. Uh, and, and my brother and I helped build our Emmy out here. And the reason why, you know, Mike Graham was just coming up and Mike and a lot of his buddies wanted to get an amateur wrestling. So amateur wrestling wasn't even a state sport when we came here. So Eddie, Eddie put together a uh, helmet, Don Curtis, Coach John Heath over there. So I put together a little cartel and started financing amateur state tournaments in the beginning. I tell amateur wrestling in the state of Florida started. And so, of course, Jack and I and Roop, anybody that had any college experience, Eddie booked us out every high school in the state, you know, putting on seminars and stuff like that. And I still have uh, kids coming up to me today and said, 
my granddad said you and your brother taught I taught I taught him how to wrestle in high school and he really appreciates it. So it's it's uh, it's about the third generation now since we did that. But uh, yeah, without Eddie Graham, uh, the state wrestling tournament would not have existed as it did in the early early seventies. Yeah, and you know, having coached wrestling in South Carolina uh, for years at the high school level, and then uh, coming down here to Florida, uh, Florida was always way ahead in the southeast of other states in the sport of wrestling, and that's due to you and your history with with Eddie Graham and your brother. Uh, man, just really amazing stuff. And you know, you you talked about Jack Swagger, and I just want to say I I had the clever uh, the privilege and pleasure of hanging out with Jake at the River City WrestleCon that they have uh, up in uh, St. Augustine, Florida, um, some months back, and talking to him about shoot pro wrestling. And Jake was really excited uh, to learn more about shoot pro as well. And this this new show, this new TV show which I want to mention again is going to be out on other platforms like the Hannibal TV is going to be the way that we really introduce shoot pro wrestling to the fans. There've been other shows in the past. There've been, uh, there've been shows uh, in Colorado, even tag teams, uh, but it's never been. Matt, done Matt, like Matt, this. Matt, Matt, uh, Matt, the, 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 the name shoot pro wrestling, it, 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 it's a little confusing to to the fans out there, and hopefully we're going to have a pretty good size audience being you on this show here today. Why don't you give us a little bit more clearer explanation exactly what shoot pro wrestling means or what the product is and what the people expect to see when they walk through the door? Absolutely. And, you know, the name shoot is sort of an inside term in combat sports, but it means um, it's – it's real. It's, it's not a uh, work. It's a shoot. So the way that the shoot pro wrestling format works, um, Jake Shannon went back to an old rule set he had gotten from uh, Carl Gotch. And essentially, it's a best of three falls. And you can win by a uh, three-second pinfall or submission. And the athletes that we're bringing in to shoot pro wrestling to compete are coming from the MMA cage and uh, from the pro wrestling, not from the pro wrestling, but from the amateur wrestling mat. Now we are looking at bringing some pro wrestlers in as well, but it is a hundred percent shoot under that rule set. And uh, the interesting thing that fans will see when they watch this show, the Higgins, the Riggins versus Alt show is um, how that rule set makes for such an exciting and dynamic competition. This was one hell of a match between Riggins, uh, Brandon Riggins and Blade Hawk out there at the Sky Dancer Casino. And when it got down to the match itself, man, People watch grappling. A lot of the fans know the submission grappling, the, the no-gi jiu-jitsu, where the guys can stall and lay on their back. They can't do that in shoot pro wrestling. It's constant motion, and it's the real winners are, are going to be the fans when they see this product, Jerry. Awesome. Well, that, that's it. That's, uh, that's the winners that you want. You know, and, uh, as long as you shoot that product out there and, and people understand and give them time to – Educate yourself on the difference in in, uh, in pro wrestling and 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 the shooting style of wrestling is important. Definitely, and Jerry, this is uh this is going to be one of many uh, TV shows to come. We're planning another one um, out of uh, Virginia, up in the DC area. Uh, Jake Scott Catchcon coming up, and there's going to be a show on uh, tape there. So this television show that we are going to be airing in Vegas, we're hoping to syndicate it too on a larger stage. But again, you don't have to be living in Las Vegas to see this because we're going to have it on uh, Canada's top combat sports podcast, the Hannibal TV and on other channels for folks to see uh, this 30 minute uh, show, the Higgins all the Higgins all to uh, shoot pro wrestling. Well, where is it going to originate from in Vegas? 
Well, 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 well the show itself um, was was shot at um, the Sky Dancer Resort and Casino. And okay, all right, North all right. Dakota. Yeah, it was actually on an MMA. Oh, so you're you're not are you you're you're not having a live event in Vegas then or what? Uh... Well, what we're doing is we're airing the television show in okay. the Vegas market. Uh, there's a gentleman named Davey okay. Acovetti. He produces a television show that I host uh, that's on TV in South Florida, and uh, he's got the television station out there. I believe it's an affiliate of the CW Network. Uh, they they also have some sporting stuff and some other television shows that folks are familiar with. So it's airing on that network in Las Vegas uh, as a 30 minute television show. But okay, the awesome. match itself emanates from the Skydancer Resort and Casino, uh, the show that uh, Mariah Pusha put on called to find the fight. I had the pleasure of being out there at that uh, event and calling the action with Jake. We had UFC Hall of Famer and Shoot Pro President Pat Milicic as a special guest referee, and he hosted the weigh-ins. And that's all incorporated into this 30-minute uh, television show that's going to be uh, airing in the Las Vegas market and also available to fans online. Awesome. Well, I, I can't wait for that. It's going to be a wonderful event there. So. Awesome, man. Well, Jerry, I really want to thank you for your time. And I'm looking forward to seeing you again at uh, at the Jerry Briscoe Challenge out there at Sickles High School in the Tampa area. I'll definitely be there again this year. Thank you, Matt. I thank you for your support. And, uh, the kids uh, really enjoyed seeing the, the King of Connecticut there in the, in the Sickles uh, High School gymnasium there. So, you know, and I know you made some friends there, a lovely lady that uh, – that, uh, I, I can't remember her name there, but uh, you befriended her real quick. You, you seem to have a way with your lady. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that was the lovely Melanie out there, uh, one of the wrestling moms. Um, yeah, there, 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 ain't no, there ain't nothing better than a wrestling mom. <laughs> oh, yeah. And she was proud of her son, and you and I were both yeah. giving her son some pointers. She actually had yeah. two sons that were wrestling in that in yeah. the Gary Briscoe Challenge, and we were able to give her son – some pointers. Uh, well, man, that means but, she'll be back there. That means she'll be back because we have all the returning teams. Plus, we added we, we increased our bracket this year to sixteen. So, where we're growing every year, and then you know, the coaches coaches tell me really the only way we can expand any more after this year if we go to a two day tournament. And the two day tournaments are are so hard and so expensive for the school to put on because of the resources and. It, and the volunteers that it takes here, but you know, it just takes a good, a good uh, uh, support system, as you know, Matt, to build a good program. And when and that Sickles High School had had it for over twenty years, so real proud of the program, real proud of the tournament. Of course, I, I just tell Coach, I, I, I never wanted, I would never want it to be the Memorial Jerry Briscoe tournament. <laughs> Definitely. And, you know, Jerry, you, you've helped build and grow that program at Sickles High School. Tell the people how many years, because it goes back. When did you first start working with that team? In uh, uh, 1997. Started wow. working with them. Worked with them, I, of course, I did. The year before the uh, – uh, a year before my sons got there, so then uh, I did the West of Perkin for four years, and then there were uh, three years difference in between my my West and then my son Joe, and so I I stayed on those three years there and did did another four years, and then then was going on my fifth year and I started having a series of strokes and my doctor advised me to you know that don't you don't need the added stress so. So I had to give that part up. So, I, but I'm still involved. I still do fundraiser for them. I still do everything that I can without physically getting out there and and, and having the stretch of, of coaching and watching those kids you know, succeed and 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 fail, of course. But uh, it's just a wonderful experience. They've been really good to me. I, I you know, I, my wife taught at Sickles. You know, I coach at Sickles, so. It's our local school, and I lived here before the school was built. And actually, looked before the school was built, looked to purchase the property that the school is on. But a, 
I, we never did get uh, kind of close the deal on it there, but the, it's near and dear to me. It's one of my favorite favorite things that I do all my years of accomplishments. It's probably my favorite one is to help build that program and what it, what it's become there. So I uh, appreciate Matt. You have me on here. Let's go shoot pro wrestling, man. That's what it's all about. Absolutely. Shoot Pro Wrestling, everybody. And we want to give a special thanks once again to WWE Hall of Famer and our advisor with Shoot Pro Wrestling, the great Jerry Briscoe. Everybody have a great afternoon.